What's happening, everyone? We are back today. Two streams in a row yesterday, in a row, many hours apart. That was an interesting day. Remember when Ledger had a library compromise that affected tons and tons of sites? I saw once I read a tweet from somebody about it early, and they were like, or was it a video? Maybe I was watching a video. I was watching some video on like a very popular channel. And they were like, you know, it only affects Ledger stuff. I'm like, whoa, it, funny enough, you would normally be right saying that, but uh, funny enough, it did not. It affected lots, lots more stuff. Anyone using the library, which is a reusable piece of code that lots and lots of websites use to interact with Ledger devices, aka Ledger Connect Kit. So very interesting. We can talk about that. Anyone want to um, ask questions or feel like they still don't understand it or whatever, I can bring that up and we'll talk about it as well. However, this is open mic. So uh, again, I put the streamer link in the chat if you want to hop on uh, for and talk about you know whatever topic you're interested in, feel free. I got a couple of gentlemen in the back. I'm going to bring one up first. And we're going to go for a little bit and then uh, I'll bring uh, Hex Scout is also uh, going to be uh, well, is here, but going to going to come in in the second half or so. And I'll uh, we'll click around the website a little bit. He'll talk about that and answer any questions. And like I said, anyone's welcome to come on just uh, if you know, if I don't know you, you're not, uh, you know, famous in the community, whatever. Famously not turning on your camera. You know, some people don't like to do that, but uh, for accountability purposes, just uh, prefer you turn that on. Um, but feel free, wait in the green room. If you do come on stream, uh, go in the green room and do the private chat and just like, you know, kind of introduce yourself to me a little bit if I'm not, if I, if I haven't met you before. Other than that, we'll get into it. Uh, welcome back to the show. Stay well. How's it going, man? Going well. Thanks for having me. You're back. I think the first stream we did was uh, libertarian. We talked about libertarianism and uh, yeah. all that stuff, anarchy, capitalism, all those things. That must have been late 2021. I didn't start streaming uh, till May 2022, so that was actually okay. later 2022 sometime, I would say. I think we would have peaked by, peaked by then. Uh, or Yeah, I think we were already on the way down. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we were definitely on the way down, I think. Oh, okay. All right. I think now the top was, top was into 2021. 2022, we kind of sputtered around a little bit. And boy, Christmas 2022 was not, not, a, not a great time for crypto. No. Uh, yeah. But yeah, and then since then we so we did that one first. I remember, uh, and then you came on for the very first hundred percent uptime. I did one, so I need to do that series again. That was a really good series where I have a surprise guest. You were on the first one of those, and then you came on for last time was yeah because of the uh, yeah February you, you knew the date because of the uh, the ETH the ETH hack deal. ETH hack. Uh, I talked about that, which was really helpful for people to understand about that. That was that was a good stream. Yeah, it, I yeah you. Um... I brought it up in another stream and then you like quote tweeted it um, that uh, yeah, there's been people that have come forward since then. Um, mm. Yeah. Not most recently. I don't have any stories off the top of my head of anyone, you know, mentioning being hacked or things like that uh, to me personally, but that time, like I guess in the spring um, and a little bit in the summer, I had a couple of people reach out and resonate with the story. Um, I had a couple of people that reached out and just wanted to, talk about taking the appropriate precautions um so and especially now it's like especially this week it being such a, a relevant topic um people feeling unsafe with dApps and uh you know losing faith in their ledger um it's almost like the safest the safest space the safest the safest place to keep your money is the bank <laughs> ironically it's almost oh, a comforting feeling of a third party handling your stuff yeah I know. yeah yeah so um it's also two weeks since hex's birthday uh i think hex's birthday was uh 15 days ago so uh, uh 13 yeah December, December 2nd. 2nd yeah 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 December 2nd yeah yeah so one or two happy birthday hex that was a yeah i streamed on that day with um dcc that's right yeah that was a great stream it was a really nice. stream. I enjoyed that one. We rem reminisced a little bit about the early days, even though I hadn't been, I've only been publicly part of the community for the last couple of years or so now. Mm -hmm. um, but I've been following Richard since 2017, I think. Yeah. And just like have like just been lurking and watching Hexologist and all this stuff uh, for yeah. a long time, but never interact with the community till 2022. Um, so we got right. to reminisce about those times as well. Right. Yeah. And what's the, I think since most recently, has it been liquid loans? That's been the biggest launch or has there been anything I've missed? Uh, Power City as well. Oh, really? When, when they, wait, I didn't see that on Twitter. When, when did they launch? You didn't see it on Twitter. How dare you? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, 
pretty was it three days ago or so? Chat helped. Yeah. I think it was like okay. three days ago. Um, yeah, they launched. I don't think what is let's see. You could claim your coins. I think you can interact a little bit, but there's still some stuff that isn't fully functional. I can't remember. There's something that's not some stuff that's not fully functional. Like okay. redemptions just happened today for a liquid loan. Liquid so loans. Yeah. Was for a while. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how dare you? Yeah. So yeah, there's a lot of power city. Very pop. You know. Uh, I remember going to PulseCon, very first mm -hmm. PulseCon, mm -hmm. and in Vegas and Power City. I guess it sponsored the party, and there was like the you know the background banner where people take pictures, and there's all Power yeah. City stuff. And um, definitely, that's the promotion stuff in Power City has been pretty pretty powerful, and hopefully, going to bring a lot of people in the Pulse chain uh, from you know all these projects and their money and them doing well and, and all the stuff in the Pulse chain. So I'm hoping at least on Earn on earn is that you're saying that hasn't something to do with earn hasn't uh launched? yeah I, I can't remember power city mm -hmm. people oh no the vault hasn't launched yeah sure there's a couple things probably but it is it is live and uh you could have claimed it it's same as like loans we need this rh wallet one day there's some community wallets going around right now too uh i, I definitely metamask is one of those necessary evils for me right now it's like it's it's hard for me to change my bank but i just don't like giving them my business at the same time uh, so Metamask, yeah, yeah. What about the? Uh, what about using Rappi? I haven't yet. I haven't. I don't. You know, I've. I want them all to do well. Internet money, you know, of course, as well. Um, but I haven't moved my. You know, my. I will say at least not my bigger wallets over to mm -hmm. stuff like that yet. I just it's hard for me to switch banks. It's kind of one of those feelings. Yeah, I hear you. I hear. You. I just know anytime I use Metamask, anytime I sign in, and maybe I'm just you know. You know, maybe it's unnecessary, but I use a VPN just because of, uh, you know, there was that thing going around a couple months ago that uh, now they like track your, you know, usage and stuff. So, yes. Well, so to even get around that part, I just, uh, I added the non Infura uh, Ethereum node. Yeah. So it's just can... tedious. When, if you got different yeah. uh, wallets and stuff, it's just tedious to yeah uh, important but yeah i hear you that's how i did that instead of using vpn i mean yeah vpn yeah. can give you some privacy stuff there too but i just switched i don't even use the regular network it's it's the one with the colorful icon at the top and i never click it i accidentally click it sometimes but i'm like no no click back go to the one that they don't want me to use that kind of thing true yeah um was was piteous affected uh this is in reference to the uh, ledger stuff i think they said no i think their twitter said no i think so. Yeah, I don't. I'm not aware. If if anybody in the Pulse community like was affected, I think it'd be bigger news. Like people would be pointing it out, but I don't think anyone's involved with that. I know Mintra isn't. Icosa isn't. So, I don't yeah, think... I saw a few. Saw a few come say they weren't. I think Internet Money uh, as well. Everyone tweeted. Good opportunity to get some promotion there. Like <laughs> not affected by hashtag Ledger, right? And then I was like, yeah. oh, this one. They must. It's like. You know, they funny enough, it could have not meant they had any better security posture than anything else. It just like they just happened not to use that library, for example. Yeah, um, it was affected. But it's a it's a great I mean, a great time to get the marketing, uh, mark free marketing as well by saying your project isn't affected. And it's a good thing. I'm glad, you know, I haven't heard of any Pulse Chain projects that were affected because the IPFS stuff wasn't. I know that was a debate. People were going yeah. back and forth and I was hearing it was and it wasn't. And, and then finally, you know, I said earlier that day, because I caught this thing early. I, I mm -hmm. woke up at five. I saw mm -hmm. it on Twitter. I was like, I got to go figure this out. I got to go talk about it because mm -hmm. I have a security background. Like I can I can right. get up to speed much quicker, kind of tell people what I, you know, what I think is going on. So th that morning I was like, yeah, people are asking, is it effective? I'm like, I don't know. It sounds like not to me, um, but I'm sure RH or the devs or somebody later today will talk about it. And sure enough, you know, we had Brett Tepp, our favorite dev. Mm -hmm. um, say that and also richard <laughs> richard if you if you didn't take what uh, brett was saying about it if you read richard's tweet about he was just you know bragging about how it's not affected and he's already told you not to do all these things and you know all the all the not humble stuff he uh he would you know that that could have informed you that of course we weren't affected if he was gonna go on go on that mm -hmm. so it's pretty uh pretty interesting so uh, yeah man you said uh you said you watched the documentary highest right? of stakes yeah. yeah you saw it in theaters right i saw it in theaters the second week it was out and i saw it on demand uh, i want to say a week or two ago the first day it was out you know, i remember you yeah i remember yeah. you posted a screenshot of you uh you bought it uh on apple tv right uh technically prime but yeah prime. it was on yeah. apple tv it was on right. youtube but i actually watched it on prime yeah 
So what, what did you think of it? Did you already do a stream with your review? I, I did a stream with a review when I watched it in theaters. Um, um, I don't right. think I did it on the second one. I, well, actually, I had Kong, had Crypto Kong on. We, we sort of talked about it towards the end of the stream. But uh, And then I, today I watched uh, Air France Somi's uh, review, which was pretty interesting. I, yeah, I had to I agree with a, a lot of it. I, I had to agree with it. I want to watch that one. It's oh, good. It's, it's, it's good, yeah. It was this, uh, yeah, basically he was, I won't ruin it for you, but he, uh, he, it goes up and down. It's like 25 minutes of like oh. something worth, some, something worth watching uh, of, of right. his review, at least, of course, okay. you know, a lot of his stuff's worth watching, but this is a longer video, but I'm like, oh, in the middle, he says a bunch of stuff. He kind of explains, it goes on. And then at the end, you're like, oh, very interesting, which is actually gave me an idea for another uh, stream I'm going to do later on about, you know, what's going to happen with all the sacrifice money? What if, what if, you know, what would happen if all the expectations we didn't have that yeah. were sacrificed, what if something happened with that money? What, what would, it, what could it be that's, you know, not market manipulation on us? Yeah. Just like, what could, what could a company do that would promote their type of product who had a bunch of funds, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, it gave me that idea, but yeah. What, what, what did you think? And uh, what was your, any interesting reactions? Well, um, I mean, I found it to be a little bit cringe just because it highlights that, you know, period that. I don't, I don't like, I don't resonate with, you know, Richard being, you know, flamboyant and, you know, you know, flexing all this stuff. So it wasn't kind of the Richard that a lot of hexagons know. And I think for that reason, it was a little bit off putting and it's not something that I would really share with a lot of the onboards. Like I have some like onboards that are kind of like, you know, one foot in. And I think if I show them the documentary, they're going to scam. Have... <laughs> Scammer. <laughs> Oh God! Yeah. What what happened? What did I do? Yeah. So, I so I think for the demo demographic of like like newcomers and newbies and uh, anyone who's like not familiar with it, it could be a compelling documentary, right? If they're just like scrolling on a streaming site and they come across it and watch it, I think they'll find it very entertaining. But I think for like true hexagons, at least for I'm not speaking for everybody, but for me, I don't think it was like the the best period, right? Where he went on this whole you know, buying spree and, and the flexing spree and, you know, uh, that's, that a, that's a great take, man. That caught like the it. attention. I, I think if I were to synthesize what you're saying, like it, it's, it's mm -hmm. like that period could be, I'm glad we captured that for all the people who aren't already in, because it's right. very exciting, entertaining, and could help people on board. Had they not be worried about the money they put in already, <laughs> that is in the twerker guy's hands, you know, that sort of thing, right? right? Like, like the people already in, eh, maybe they're not going to enjoy it as much. Or it's not going to make them feel more comfortable about their investment for whatever reasons they believe. I mean, mm -hmm. for me, it didn't obviously change anything. A lot of us right. didn't. Uh, but for no coiners, <laughs> yeah. it's like, hey, this guy's this guy's fun. I wonder what's going to yeah. happen next. Hex.com. <laughs> let me go there. You no, know? no, I think it did leave me with a lot of like FOMO impressions just because like, like hearing Richard and hearing his like, you know, um, you know, obviously belief that this is, you know, going to stand the test of time. And, you know, we're here obviously for forever because the smart contract can't be turned off. Um, it did give me FOMO, um, but I could just see it being a little bit off-putting, especially like some of the girls I know, like some of the girls I've onboarded or girls like I could onboard. Um, I think they would find it very cringe. Um, so for, for, I think for guys, like I think it's, it's, you know, cool and interesting, but I think the girls I know would, be off put by it so so i don't plan to share with them but uh oh, yeah. i mean that's 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 a fair perspective i gotta say i when i talked about it with kong i was telling him that uh i watched it uh on demand with um with a friend of mine who is no corner and mm -hmm. um who didn't know anything about richard or, or you know hex or anything before one of my one of the few friends who i hadn't uh had a conversation with it about really to any extent and i was like hey man i want your your honest you know, feedback, like, like, don't, you're not going to hurt my feelings, nothing like that. Like, what did you think? And, and I think he kind of, he was, he sort of took it as like me trying to onboard him, but I was like, no, man, I, I you, you do not get it, need to get into crypto. Like nobody needs to get into crypto. Like it's everyone had like, they have their own risk profile and their own, uh, you know, different people treat different ways and people can't handle the pressure and anxiety, all this stuff. I totally get it. Crypto is not for everyone. So this is not about me trying to get you into crypto. This is just about me Hey, this is a guy I followed for a long time. I like him. I like his products. And, you know, I like the community. And this is just a movie about a thing that happened, an experience, and something that's going on, and it happens to yeah. do with crypto and all these interesting things. And the funny enough, the the thing that he pointed that, that he brought up that I didn't expect was mm -hmm. he talked about the OA. Like of all the scenes of, of everything in there, 
right. the OA and having a part of the supply, you know, tri like triggered his thinking about it. And it wasn't like this big negative. He wasn't like, oh, I wouldn't do it because of that. Right. He just, his response was, was kind of like, yeah. well, kind of like, you know, kind of wondering why kind of, and I, you know, I kind of explain, okay, well, you know, centralization of supply is price, like all these companies, you know, the, the, his thing was, I think, what, what did he question? He was like something about like how decentral, like he was worried about the decentralization part. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, okay, well, Satoshi got a million coins, you know, all the, all these responses you could have from it, but that, that is something that struck him. And that's what I thought was interesting from a person who's never heard of the guy, never heard of the project, not into crypto. They were thinking about, well, I thought this stuff was decentralized and I'm like, well, you know, you don't know, well, you don't want too much yeah. about crypto. So let's, yeah. Well, maybe I guess what stood out to him was Richard's comparison to like Fortune 500 companies and how like a lot of those you know founders still hold a majority stake. So there's nothing bad about it. He did enjoy the the 401k line as well, the famous right. one in the movie. Uh, and it was like, oh well, yeah, everything's Ponzi, isn't it? That kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, I think it, if nothing else, it kind of gave him an idea of like. Uh, you know, there's, there's something more here. There's something deeper. There's not this right. like utopian dream of just peer to peer cash going on, at least right now in the capitalism part of crypto, which is where right. the industry is booming. I mean, again, pragmatic libertarian. I know your views as well. We love that stuff. We love, you know, freedom to transact with people and that's what we want. But the part that is being displayed and, and what most people are in crypto for isn't that it's for, Hey, this stuff will make me rich. Let me buy my freedom, which is totally, you know, got it, got its merits as well. Yeah, uh, that kind of mindset gets most people wrecked, though, right? That that kind of mindset is what keeps people chasing, and uh, and yeah. So, well, everyone's going to get wrecked. It's just a matter of not being that person. How much do yeah. you know to to get you off of that line where it's going to affect you and uh, your decisions? Like that's yeah. that's been the hardest learning curve in crypto. Well, not for me, but that when I see people who come in here for gambling, they come in here for. I need to make money right now, that kind of thing. And they don't understand delayed gratification or all the other mental models and, and stuff that the community right. was built from. That's, and then all the other, you know, various narratives and stuff that happen. Um, I don't know, a lot of people come in and they, they really have this ideal of, I'm going to do something great. I can do this, I have the good information. And then I don't know, they get made the bear market, the red candles, the, they just get bored. I don't know what it is. And they turn into something else than they started with, which is, uh, I don't know, it appears less healthy, I guess. Well, I'll tell you a fun fact. I think that's uh, specific to probably the younger people. Um, as you know, like on my website, stakebelt.com, I do these free consults. And um, through this bear market, um, I've, I mean, there hasn't been as much activity as obviously the bull, but there's still been people like booking times and wanting to talk to me. Um, and as before, as I, if you recall, I told you the stat that I majority, like majority of the people I speak to um, are like 60 and older. So it's usually like the older folks that just want to have like a more uh, kind of personal one-on-one -on -one and um, are, uh, you know, want to talk about staking and stuff. And through the bear market, that's continued to be the case. And those people are, you know, as excited about hacks as they were during the bull market. So that's the interesting part that I think what you're saying is I think is more specific to young people. I think the people that have, you know, been around for much longer and have seen the boom and busts still trust uh, Richard's character. It seems like that's the common theme across the people that I talk to that they know the real Richard from the live streams from like 2020, 2021. And, um, and they, they know that any FUD is just temporary. So they're still big believers. That's, that's interesting how the, yeah. I mean, is that just a sign of, maybe it's just a sign of like people who not, you know, I don't even want to go down the old, older and wiser path. It's just kind of like, Hey, I don't, this this thing isn't what I'm gambling on today. Like I'm just I'm here. I, I believe in this. I'm gonna make my decision and stick with it. And they're the longest stakers. That's that's the biggest. Mm -hmm. If you want to know the most significant takeaway for me talking to people is the older people are the longest stakers. They're wow. in it for actually 15 years. And they're like, I, uh, there's the one guy I talked to. He's like 80 something, but he's like really like sharp. Um, and uh, and he's got the longest stakes, and he's like, yeah, I'm, every paycheck I just put a little bit aside in the stake at five 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 five. Wow, so that's cool. Yeah, I like that. Really cool. That's I'm, I'm glad we have people in the community who who uh, we have one of everyone, man. We have like people who you know not just old and young and 
and uh, right. uh, dopamine now and not dopamine now. It's kind of like, yeah. Go ahead. No, no, it's a, it's a good uh, that the demographics are are very like um, wide, right? It's not just a certain subset of people chasing the pump, like Dogecoin or whatever, but it's like mature people, professionals of all types of um, you know lower class, middle class, upper class, um, are resonating with Richard's message. So, what what is yeah on that too? A lot of people it sounds like and you know, consults and otherwise. What is it that you tell them that they resonate with so much? Because as you, we just talked about, there's so many themes in Hex, but I think it's the I think it's the savings aspect, the delayed gratification aspect. That um, even at the, even if you're older, like you know that there's no get rich. Like at that point, especially like you know you've you've had the lessons to know that there's no get rich quick scheme. So. Um, you believe a lot into like they're big believers in you know a lot of what Richard preacher preaches, and obviously that's you know so many things from security to the self custody um, that uh, they just kind of believe with his world view, and uh, they want to be part of Hex. Uh, I think primarily for the kind of savings account delayed gratification aspect of it. It is a beautiful thing. Like, like you can really get sucked down a hole of, ah, I need this thing to go up because I put money into it. Right. If you just zoom out and be like, this thing is incredible, but it even exists <laughs> and exists in a way that, you know, anyone can go copy it and fail and all this stuff, but exists in a way that is built to design to, you know, last forever. And really it's designed to attract people who uh, want to do these, play these healthy games and, mm -hmm. and really want to, to get something more. Um, so yeah. that, that's the cool thing about it. Um, so yeah, the movie, um, hopefully more people see it. Um, I mean, judging by the highest of stakes, Twitter account, they're still teasing that there's more to come. So some people were like disappointed that they still can't watch it in their market. They have to pay for a stream, but, um, it seems to me like this is just another step in their distribution and that, uh, there's more to come. So, right. Is that what you're hearing too? I mean, every time I've talked to anyone involved in it, they uh, they either hint or not hint that, or they tickle my instinct that they've got so much content and so much was not in there already. Oh, of course. Why yeah. wouldn't there be more? Like that's what I come away with talking to people, you know, involved in it otherwise. I'd love to have a little mini series because yeah, they have so much footage. Like I was surprised with like what like the movie was like a little short splice of a lot of the teasers that we got. Yeah. Um, and uh, every picture in here, every picture in here, I like a lot, like yeah. some of these was not in it. They're just not yeah. in it. Not even the behind, forget the behind the scenes stuff. Like just the pictures of not behind scenes stuff. Like they're just, I don't remember some of this stuff being in there. Yeah. So it's gotta be more. Yeah. Well, but I mean more so that uh, it's probably going to have more distribution. It's going to eventually be available to watch for free, you know, things like that. So like in terms of like onboarding, in terms of it, like reaching the masses, I think they still have more, you know, under their sleeve. So people should still have things to look forward to with the documentary. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Maybe it'll get some, you know, a like recognition from awards and stuff. Yeah. I don't know what five Emmys means here. I don't imagine that's otherwise we would have heard of the actual, uh, I want to see Richard on stage accepting some trophy where the directors. That's for the production company. Like as you know commercial okay. producers and as other like producing other documentaries they've earned all those accolades yeah yeah switching gears uh we'll talk about this real quick this is something that um I tweeted the other day uh about the blue chips and it's something that i know you're you're probably i imagine involved in some community coins as well but just just the whole idea of blue chips you know it kind of started with bitcoin and ethereum with the hex and pulse chain Sure. about you know why does everyone just buy bitcoin and ethereum and then, you know, all the different stuff uh attributes for them maybe they're too high market cap otherwise and then now since the community has grown so much we worry the blue chips are now in this community hex you know pulse chain pulse x for example why doesn't everyone just buy them um are, are there things that when you look at coins and stuff here are there things that you're more interested in, in than others uh like what i guess what kind of what kind of games are you interested in stake wealth um, yeah, I think, um, well, 
yeah, I haven't uh, looked outside of Pulse Chain, so I'm not sure what else is out there and on, on, happening on other blockchains. But specific to you know Pulse Chain, I think it's a, a pretty good recommendation to have majority of your portfolio in blue chips, the tried and true, the RH tokens. Uh, but besides that, you know, uh, part part of like gaining traction and adoption is having a, a healthy PRC twenty ecosystem. So we want altcoins to succeed on Pulse Chain. Um, it's like a, um, what? Well, it's like a a loop. I forget, I forget the name of the loop. You know the, yeah. It's like a positive feedback loop, right? Positive feedback. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was thinking. And um, uh, besides uh, betting on Pulse Chain and Hex and PHEX, um, a big fan of Icosa. Still a big fan of Hedron. I haven't really looked or touched it because I know there's so like the liquidity is so thin. There's nothing to do other than just like stake it, have it staked, and let it like accrue whatever yield is you know is uh, dripping there. But besides that, um, the only other token I've ever shield besides like Hex and Hedron uh, is Up Token, and um, it's a token I talked on your program before. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's now it's uh, it launched in January. Um, the airdrop was in January. The sacrifice was late last year, and um, essentially, up token is um, like a. It's supposed to. It's like a pool for people to participate in the Honda strategy, of leveraging liquid loans to leverage uh, the pulse chain gains. Uh, so I, I coined the term, it's like pulse chain gains on steroids, because if you follow the Hanta strategy and you can like, you know, recycle these uh, vaults um, as the price goes up, you will get yield. And in the case of UpToken, the yield generated through liquid loans is used to buy and burn the token, hence, you know, potentially increasing the, the value of it. Um, so I think last time I checked, uh, UpToken was a dollar, but I think there was a dip. Uh, but sacrifice rate was uh, two two and a half cents. Uh, so going from two and a half cents in August of last year to December of this year isn't too shabby. So if anyone's interested, you can look up up token on Twitter. Um, I'm one of the moderators in the chat. But otherwise, there's no like team allocations. There's no. It's got the most fair uh, sacrifice distribution. Um, and um, yeah, everyone in it is really happy. I think we were up to about 1,500 members. And during the sacrifice phase, it was like 800 members. So yeah, that's like the only project outside of Hex and Hedron that uh, I'm a fan of. Yeah, I had uh, what, Dave, the mathematician, come on the other open mic a few, a few weeks ago and talk right. about it a little bit as well. Yeah, so now we have UpX. So now it's going to leverage uh, the Power City uh, protocol to do something similar with PulseX. Um, so again, none of this is like a garbage quick scheme or a financial advice, but um, it's all it's all based on the performance of Pulse Chain and PulseX. So um, if they do really well, then the, these tokens could potentially even outperform. So, but at the end of the day, like you know, you can't beat um the rh tokens you know there's no uh you know it's it's rh approved <laughs> so i think anyone who's getting into pulse chain it just sticking to the blue chips as you mentioned in the thread is just it's going to be enough they don't necessarily need to uh start placing bets on uh a lot of the altcoins because as we've seen in the past you don't know the trajectory <laughs> of these uh token these non-rh tokens you can't really guarantee that they'll stand the test of time, that they won't get rugged, and things like that. Yeah, there's definitely. I mean, that's just to go back to the point too of, of you know, why does everyone just buy the blue? Like, why aren't we all just buying Bitcoin? Why do we? Why do we love Hex and Pulse and stuff? So, well, I mean, first of all, there could be other products that serve other needs. You know, Bitcoin send receive. It's a famous saying, Ethereum world computer. But you know, if there weren't other tokens built, like the ERC twenty is the is, is a, one of the primary functions of Ethereum. You got to be able to create other tokens. And you know other tokens, if you know, they're not bad and rug pulls and all this stuff, can give the network more value. More people want to use them. There's a lot of different uh, debates back and forth. What's up, Alan? You're getting a special shout out today, Alan. I'm not going to type in the chat. You got it on voice today. You got it on voice today. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Uh, one other thing, and mm -hmm. before we bring in the Hex Scout fellow, have 
you been to, I just want to give everyone a chance to ask questions. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the state wealth, but uh, I have a website yep. called gorealdefi.com. I've seen you always <laughs> tweet about it. <laughs> I see always. Ah, I try. I really try not, not to, well, but I'm thinking about like, yeah. you know, I'm always, you know, trying to tweak something or, or make it a little bit better. But yeah, I try to limit it. Like imagine yeah. how much like I, I do and tweak and stuff. And then I'm like, ah, don't tweet about it too much. But yes. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't, anyway. think you can, I don't think you can overdo it. Like we're just trying to help yeah. the people, and and these are constant reminders. Oftentimes, it takes people like seeing it five times before they actually take action. So, don't think that you're overdoing it. I, I mean, I feel like it. a I feel like I'm a token founder, but I I don't have uh, any skin in this game other than the help <laughs> of the community. Yeah, I'm like I'm like yeah. Let me sell you my website that only costs me money. Uh, that's pretty much the case. Um, but I just want to go over this I, again. I've, I've had some questions too about people like ah. Uh, is it safe to use IPFS gateways? Well, Richard said, don't use IPFS gateway. He did say that in the, in the latest tweet. He's like, in, in the list of things not to do, he was like, don't use um, don't use IPFS gateways or something like that. Funny enough, I didn't know what to call it. I didn't know what to call these things that you, you, know, you click on it and it points to the app. I didn't really know what to call it other than like a site or a window. I was like describing it as a window. Mm. Funny enough, Richard gave me the idea when he, when he tweeted about it a couple weeks ago about uh, gateways and stuff. I was like, oh, that's probably a good word for it. I'll call it a gateway. Mm. But he has to say that stuff. I mean, I, I take no offense from him. You have to say that as a founder, you don't want to get people wrecked. There's gonna be a lot of gateways that aren't, don't have all the security features that mine does that don't tell you exactly all the stuff, how this is the same. It's pointing to the same place. And Give you all the verifications method and all that stuff too there gonna be plenty of them that don't do that and that don't mean there's scams or malicious or anything either but um there'd be plenty of them i'm sure there will be i mean unfortunately it's just gonna it's just gonna happen when there's opportunities to trick people um it's, it's probably gonna happen so um anyways i just want to give people if you're uh, concerned or worried at all about anything regarding the security or otherwise of the website i, I took the morning to write up this big thread where you can do all, you can read all the stuff. You can look, look at the pictures. There's pictures here. You can look at the pictures and there's just all these words about all these things. Just tell you how to exactly tell if you're using the right side or not. And it's very, very easy with a button called verify hash. You click that. It tells you if, it, if things are not correct, it will say fail. If things mm -hmm. are correct, it'll say, okay. So that's the short version. Um, but I've got all the information in there. Do not trust me. Do not trust the website. Trust in either the script that does all the stuff for you. It's probably open source. It's probably uploaded to my GitHub just that people can see the source of the script too. Mm -hmm. I guess I don't know if anyone cares, but like I could do that. Um, or verify it yourself with the uh, instructions that I gave you here. So uh, when, when you, yeah, I guess some feedback, a good opportunity for feedback. You, when you look at this website, do you feel like, first of all, do you use it if you, if you mind saying, and if it's okay either way if you do or not. Sure. And if you, do, whether you do or not, when you look at it or use it or click on it or whatever, do you, is there anything missing? Like you feel like, is there any friction or anything? Oh, I don't know if I should use it because of this. Yeah. Any feedback as far as like, is there anything stopping you from using it? Like uh, that kind of thing. Um, I don't think so. Um, I think it's, um, I think it's laid out really well. And more importantly, I, by looking at it, I can tell that it would be well optimized for mobile. So it is. a lot of people still using kind of mobile devices and, you know, being on Twitter and then seeing this link and switching over to the mobile version of the site. I'm sure that they'll have a good experience. And uh, I think usability of it is the most important. So for that reason, I think, um, no, I think it's, it's a very, very good website. Yeah. I just, I mean, other than the aesthetics and all this stuff, I just want, you know, people say, oh, but is it safe? Is it secure? Like, what, what about this? And I'm like, I'm a security guy and I'm not perfect. Nothing's 100% secure. No website in the world is. However, when I designed this, I was like, okay, I'm going to make this something I want to use. Like, I'm not concerned using this site. And, um, you know, I think if you're going to try to onboard people, sending them to the official ones right now, it's just, it's just too confusing. I've talked about this at length before. Too many stuff. All, only the nerds want to download and run your own stuff. I'm a nerd. I like I doing that stuff too. But like, I know the rest of the world does not. So I'm trying to onboard the rest of the world, not like the people who would actually download EXE and run it. Like that's, yeah. that's totally fine. And and for that reason, we have Hex Scout, right? And that is a great introduction. Welcome. Oh, shoot. I was, I was going to give my heads up. Are you listening right now, Hex Scout? 
Hicks Scout, you're up. I'm messaging him right now. You're gonna yeah. you're gonna uh, hop off or stay on? What do you think? I am starving. Sorry, I I got back from okay. the gym and then no I, took a I took a shower before coming on here, so I'm just so starving. So as soon as he comes on, I'll hop off. Um, but oh, there's something. Oh, I guess the other big announcement to just uh, announce on here is just the zero transaction fees on the Pulse Chain Bridge. That's right. Boom! I click the bridge and we'll check it out. There you go. So okay. now it says zero fees. See zero bridge fees. Two, 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 two. Does it say that? Uh, it, uh, I'll just type. Maybe I'll just type in. Type in something like five, 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 five. Yeah. Oh, all right. Or just five, five, five. Let's see if it's bridge fee. Receive five, five. Okay, there you go. Just about. You're about above the mouse. Uh, down. It says zero percent. Oh, zero percent. Yeah, I didn't, wasn't even pay attention. I was like, I, I was just looking to look at what I receive and see if the same number that's what I'm going to send. Okay, yeah, zero percent. It's right in front of me. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. What do you what do you think that does for um? Or wait, on Felix. Uh, what do you think that does for people bridging? You think it's going to are they going to back the Brinks truck up now? Like, how big big a difference do you think it'll make? Um, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, I'm sure it makes a bigger difference for uh, the big boys. So. The big boys who have the big bucks who are going to bridge in and start trading. And if you own the casino, it's Pulse X and it's good for yeah. all these things. And people make money and don't lose money. That's that's the dream. In the uh, in the chat, I posted uh, this one link I want to show. Um, obviously, bear market's a great time to be onboarding. Um, you know how great would it be to get your friends in at the bottom? So as a great resource to prepare your own materials, whether it be stickers, oh, brochures, sweet. websites. This is a great kind of centralized, um, what would you call it? Like database of all the- One-stop shop for digital assets for Pulse Chain. There you go. Uh, first time I've seen this, it's awesome. Um, yeah, I, I, uh, I do not <laughs> yeah. I put my, sound like I put my stamp of approval on it. I literally, first time I saw it, but I, I love the idea of uh, sharing artwork and stuff just to, you know, people it's that, that is like, if we can solve that, you know, it reminds me of chat GPT and, and all the AI stuff and all that. If we can take all the work that doesn't need to be done mm -hmm. and just let, just like, you know, let the resources of the world, like help people like get past the, the stuff that they're just going to have to spend a bunch of time on. And there's already something better out there and let them do the creative work, which is actually coming up with the ways to distribute and all that. Um, I love seeing stuff like that. So I'm, I'm glad I uh, shout out to, how do you pronounce his name? I saw him the other day. It's like a he does some security stuff or well, he's the ad, he's the admin of the Pulse Chain Telegram group. Oh, cool. And others, EKP Dust Bomb. Yeah, Dust Bomb. Yeah, and he's got the, he used to have the stream on um, mornings with um, on uh, Kinetics's channel. Uh, you wake up with Hex. He he would be the uh, okay. yeah he used to lead those live streams. So so because um, up until as someone who's produced like stickers and um and websites i would have to go into telegram go through all the hex groups uh telegram groups and then have to like scroll all the way back up to like 2021 to to see the when people are posting the graphics so having a, a, a google drive folder just makes it super easy as a shortcut to all the assets for sure yeah if anyone wants some shorts um I had some shorts made, like a hundred or so Richard shorts, um, like you can post on TikTok or YouTube or whatever. I posted them a lot in, in this past year. Uh, I have like a hundred or so in a zip file mm -hmm. on Google Drive. Uh, just message me or get, get in contact if anyone wants those. I can share the link. But um, yeah, ton of content out there. I think people, that's a good way to distribute it, you know, put on uh, Google Drive or, or wherever and just share the link with people so they can get access to this stuff, put it out there. And uh, yeah, make this make this thing go to the moon, community. Let's do it. Great. Let's bring on Felix. Felix, without further ado, hope you're still awake. Welcome to the show. How's it going? Hey on? guys, thank you for having me. Hey, so pleased to have uh, you. Yeah. Do you want you want to give people like an introduction to uh, yourself and and the product? Yeah. So I'm Felix from Hexcode. Um, we built Hexcout around uh, for around two years, so uh, it was a development time of uh, around two years. Um, and we built it because the biggest issue with Hex and uh, the Richard Hart ecosystem was that it's super hard to actually onboard users. 
So the way in is so complicated and so many ways to, to go and so many steps to, go, uh, steps to do um, that is just way too hard for normal people that are not in touch with crypto at all. So we decided to design the best onboarding tool for Hex uh, that we've seen so far. And um, yeah, that's why we're here and uh, we would like to show it to you. I had a look around. I thought it was a really brilliant website. Um, I I think you should start off with um, support and go through like the onboarding uh, workflow they have. Yeah, Max. Yeah, yeah. Just direct me. Where should I? Where should I go? Oh, uh, sure. Support. Um, right. Okay. Yeah, you can either click support or right on the market page, the green get started button in the top right corner. Um, both ways work. If you go back one step. Nope. Oh. Oh, get started. Gotcha. Okay. Yes. And that's the first step. Um, so what do you need to know when starting with Hex? You firstly want to learn what Hex actually is. So um, we built a little page that uh, gives you all information about Hex that you need as a starter. And um, yeah, uh, everything you need to know is there in these little text boxes. And we built this uh, tool to play around with that actually shows you what Hex did in the past what the hex might be doing in the future. Um, yeah. You can choose your investment on the right side. You can either use the bar or just type in whatever you'd like to invest. And Two, five, five, five. Perfect. And down there in the, on these graphs, you will see um, on the left side what hex did in the past. So what you literally missed out on, uh, what you could have earned. But on the right side, we will give you the good news. Um, and that's what Hex might be doing in the future, according to its past performance. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the start to learn about Hex and yeah, get the first infos. Of course, it's not wow. super complicated and doesn't go into the deepest details of Hex, but it's more like a, over, an overview for absolute beginners that uh, haven't been in touch with crypto or Hex in uh, particular to get an yeah. idea of what they're actually dealing with. And um, yep, that's the first I, part of the, the starter tour. Yeah, so I, I just, went through. Uh, go, go ahead, let, me, let me say this real quick, because I feel like you yeah. got a, a longer one. But I just want to say, I think positioning like this is very interesting and not scammy and not trickery, like nothing like it's like, hey, this is what I did before. Here's what mm -hmm. people believe it could do. You're not lying. You're not trying to deceive anyone. You're just you're just painting a picture of what you know. Believe, yeah. What what could happen? So I really appreciate yeah. that. Like, uh, yeah. like that. Thank you. And that's the theme I think throughout these steps. Like click on number four. What I liked is you uh, tying in encapsulated stakes, because um, I think here's the um, staking types. Click on two. Just I want to see where there's an option of letting you know. Oh, yeah, click on number two. Um, yeah, the number Let me two. Let me do. Let me restart. And... Oh, oh, you have to go through. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to go through that yeah. first. Um, let's go. Let's go with uh, step two. What is staking, and uh, we will end up there pretty soon. Um, yeah, right. So, after learning about the basics of Hex, you of course need to know about its uh, most important feature, which is staking. Um, so we designed a page that allows you to learn about staking and uh, all the features and differences, and um, yeah, everything you need to know. And uh, the highlight of this page is actually the tool generator that allows you to generate your own uh, staking strategy within two minutes. Um, it's super easy. I'd like to go uh, through it with you. Um, yeah, first I was to choose which for, for whom you'd like to do it, uh, for yourself or for someone else. Like, for example, if you're gifting a staking letter or something, you could do it for someone else as well. Um, let's go with for me. And then you need to set your goal. Do you want to invest long term? Do you want to invest short term? Do you want to have a mixture of both? Um, for demo purposes, let's go with the uh, first option uh, with a long term mindset, which is, of course, the best one in Hex, right? And um, yeah, then you choose what you would like to invest, like the amount, how much you are willing to put into Hex. Um, all you need to do then is click Next. Choose your age because for some people it might not make sense to stake out for 15 years. Like if you're al already 90 years old, it might not make sense to stake your hex until you're 105 years old. We're so, working on um, that. That's With longevity we're... research. Don't worry. We're working on it. <laughs> Good point, but we will need some years for that. 
Yes. Um, that's true. Yeah. So that's why we are asking for your age. And after that, you already get your final staking letter that you can, of course, customize with uh, adding another stake. And what you get there now is a nice little staking report. If you scroll down a bit, the whole text explaining to you why we chose the way that we suggest and um, why it fits your goals. Hmm. So, um, yeah, That's you can awesome. go through that and check if it makes sense for you. And if you want to customize anything, you can add stakes or remove stakes. Uh, yeah, you're free to customize it as you like. I, like I said, I'm going to drop off real quick, but my mm -hmm. favorite parts about Hex Scout are the fact that you integrate, um, you start, you mention, you educate on maxi stakes, Maximus, and yeah. uh, and encapsulated stakes. So yeah. rather than, you know, not so much gatekeeping, but you're, you're, you're shining a light on these other tools that can be Thank especially you. valuable for uh, investors with different perspectives and different outlooks. Um, sure. I think yeah. I think Maximus and um, and encapsulated stakes are incredibly valuable. Um, you, you don't know this, Felix, but my last stream with uh, RH Max was a stream where I said I was hacked, and um, and luckily having encapsulated stakes, I was able to salvage at least those and um, and get them off my wallet. So I'm a mm -hmm. really big fan of encapsulated stakes, and something I yeah. want to do moving forward is just do encapsulated stakes. Um, and obviously uh, pools and stuff like that. Um, last thing before I go, guys, is um, before I hosted a Hex House in Mexico, I'm going back to Mexico in January. Um, if anyone wants to or is, has plans to stop by Latin America uh, early next year, you're welcome to find me on Twitter. Um, and there, my pinned thread um, shows you all the adventures that we had last time. We had uh, seven hexagons at the peak. Um, and, um, yeah, and I'm going to go back in January. So anyone is also welcome to, uh, stop by the Cancun area and we'll make sure to have a good time for any hex. So an open invitation Sweet. for any hexagons. <laughs> Cancun, Cancun. That sounds, that sounds pretty good right now with the weather up here. Yeah, it's a super short flight from the States, especially from Florida. If that's where you're at. <laughs> but yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to hop off, but um, thanks so much. And uh, this is a great stream and, and I'm going to watch you guys continue. Just I'll be doing something. <laughs> awesome. Right, thanks. Thanks, thanks, you. See you, man. thanks, thanks for being right, here. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so what you just said is absolutely right. We wanted to integrate every staking option that is available because the community developed some, uh, some great tools over the years. And uh, we definitely didn't want to gatekeep anything. The decision is up to the user um, which method to use. We will just educate you on what's the um, downsides and upsides of each, of each method. And uh, yeah, you are in the end up to choosing which one fits you best. That's All awesome. Right. So what's the next logical step after generating your staking letter and learning about hex and staking? Of course, you need to get your hands on some hex. So in the third step, we are explaining how to buy either eHex or PHEX. And here again, you're at a point where you need to make a decision. So if you scroll down a little, we educate you on what eHex is and what PHEX is and uh, where the differences are. So you can decide for your own um, which one you'd like to go with. So um, yeah, let's say for demo purposes, we decide for PHEX. Then we just scroll up there again and select PHEX. And now we will ask you how you would like to buy actually, uh, how you would actually like to buy PHEX. We offer a fast process and a cheap process. Um, and if you are, if you need some kind of help, we will also offer you a one-on-one -on -one support. Um, yeah. Yeah, Let's can, go with you, the... explain, can sure. you explain this real quick? So fast process, credit card, cheapest with wire, and then safe. Mm -hmm. What is the, like, can you go through what, what each one of these mean? Yes, I will. Um, the fast process is literally buying with a credit card, which is uh, tied to higher fees, of course, because credit card buys are just more expensive than uh, with wire transfers. Um, so it's faster, but it's also more expensive. The wire transfer way will guide you through Kraken, um, to buy some ETH and bridge it over to uh, buy then whatever you'd like on Pulse. And the safe process is literally one-on-one -on -one support where you can book a support appointment with uh, us 
So we guide you through each step necessary um, just to make sure you don't make any mistakes. So cool. for people that don't feel safe doing it on their own um, or feel like they need guidance on anything, yeah, it's strictly technical support because we, of course, cannot give you financial advice. Um, but it's an option as well. Okay. Let's go with the fast process for now. Or do you have any questions or anything you'd like to ask? No, I just, uh, I like to see, that's something that I would like to see more of too, is just uh, the ability to have a number to call or, a, you know, be able to book support with, you know, the uh, hex.com people or stuff, you know, stuff like that for onboards who don't know anything. They just mm -hmm. like, hey, I don't know how to do this stuff. And they, they want support in some way. So that, that's really cool that uh, you kind of got threat. Again, this whole process has been tailored to making sure there's, you know, super like removing the friction from the process, right? Like that's what you're trying yeah. to do. Right. All right. So then we asked you if you already have a wallet or if you need one. Um, just select no for now. So you can see what we're actually guiding you through. We recommend installing MetaMask and guide you through each step to get there. Um, yeah, just scroll down and have a little look. We added some pictures so it's super clear uh, what to do. If you've done so, uh, you can choose a done next step. And you will actually see there how to buy ETH with a credit card. Um, sadly, we have to go through ETH as there is no reliable party allowing us to buy Pulse directly with credit card. Um, yeah, that's why we mm. recommend ETH. After doing that, after doing that uh, also guided, we are guiding you through with uh, some pictures and GIFs so you can do nothing wrong. After doing that, the next step would be to actually swap this E for WPLS on Ethereum because if you would buy or if you would bridge over ETH directly, you would be stuck on Pulse Chain with no Pulse to transact. So um, that's sadly not an option yet. But I heard um, some exchanges are working on gasless transactions, so it will be easier in the future and you, will, you won't need this step anymore. Um, but for now, you will have to exchange it for uh, WPLS and bridge them over which of course is the next step after um, buying them with ETH. Yeah, again, a little explainer on how to use the bridge. Um, super easy, so yeah, it's pretty understandable, I think, and really made for everyone who hasn't done it ever before. Um, yeah. Is this bridge just a, a gateway to, uh, to the uh, yeah. one? Yeah. I know yep. what those are. Sure, sure you're aware of Go Real DeFi, my uh, bridge up mm -hmm. com as well. Yeah, there's yeah, there's, nice. So I didn't know that Pulse Hotlist made one. All right, cool. Um, oh, another so, question is just mm -hmm. uh, like you know, on Go Pulse, can't you buy? Isn't there a way? Or is it just not reliable to buy PLS directly with this? Um, I think it's the top right corner. Yeah, the thing is, it has a super low limit, and it sometimes works and sometimes doesn't. Gotcha. So it's actually not reliable at all. We also tested this option, but um, yeah, you can't recommend it because it's not uh, working all the time. I figured you're just going with like the safest, most working, like most reliable options here. That makes sense. Yeah, right. Okay, if you scroll down then and uh, go to the next step. We explain to you, we ask you to add Pulse Chain to MetaMask because, uh, yeah, you will need to transact on Pulse Chain now. Just a little button, um, nothing really to explain. And after that, we explain to you how to actually swap PLS for Hex. Um, yeah, and after that, you are good to go. And what actually the magic happens in step four then which is uh, actually how to stake your hex, like the technical, technical part. We generated your, two, uh, your staking strategy um, one step before, and we are now able to execute it. So if you scroll down a little, that's just the same overview we had in step two um, with, the, with your stakes and the report. If you click next step, you will be asked which staking method you'd like to use. And this is what uh, he just referred to. We are providing you with all options, a native hedron stake and a pool stake, so a community stake. 
If you scroll down a little, you will see a comparison between these three. So you can actually go ahead and decide for yourself which suits you best. Nice. Um, yeah. What is the pulse? And then, is that Maximus? Yeah, exactly. Okay, okay then uh, you can, after educating yourself down there, you can select which methods to go with for each stake. Um, yeah, depending on your case, it might make sense to go with different ones, exactly. And if you now click next step, all you need to do is actually um, to click the stake button and for the pooled one, of course, the buy button because uh, there's only a short minting period all the time. And after that, you have to buy it on the open market, um, which is not feasible for larger people because the slippage is pretty high uh, as the liquidity isn't that uh, that's big. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But if you click on the native one on stake, for example, of course, you don't have hex now, so we would ask you to actually buy hex first. Um, but if you had hex in your wallet, you MetaMask would just pop up now and ask you to confirm your stake. And that's literally it. So you learned from right. what is hex to how to actually stake them, everything within very, very little time and pretty effortless as well. That's awesome. Yeah, I think, Thank you. I mean, yeah, I've never seen a process that's so just, it takes care of everything. I, I think that's what you need. Like, you know, when I'm building websites and stuff too, or what, whatever I'm working on, whatever project, whether it's validating or, or otherwise too, I'm thinking, how do I reduce the friction the most? How do I make yeah. people like not click away? How do I mm -hmm. get them through the process? How do I, how do I, you know, how many, how many people did you sit down and go through this and be like, oh, now I'm stuck here and you go back and, you know, refit like, make it better. I mean, like, I bet that's, that took a lot of time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it took us two years to cool. develop the whole website. And there was just one part, it was just the onboarding tour. If you would like, we can have also have a quick look on uh, the other two main features, which is the market page and portfolio. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how your schedule is in the stream. If you have other guests waiting, um, I don't want to uh... consume too much of your time. Let me bring uh, one one guy in who's who's uh, been here for a little bit, and then uh, I'm okay. sure we can talk about it as well. Uh, welcome to the stream, Norbert. How's it going? Hello, guys. Yeah, all good. Hi there. Just learning. Hey, hey. Yeah. Have you you want to give uh, everyone an introduction of yourself and uh, all that? Yeah, I'm Norbert. Uh, I've been around the crypto space since um, 2020. Uh, been introduced by a good friend to Hex. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't listen to him. Uh, it was too overwhelming, all these things like uh, MetaMask, uh, Ledger, Trezor, CoinGecko, Seed Phrase. So I kind of gave up on it and uh, went a different route on Coinbase. So that's why I'm not a millionaire today. But uh, learned a ton, met fantastic people, and uh, yeah, just enjoying the ride and trying to contribute and help out as much as I can. Cool. Have you used uh, Hexcal yet? No, but I'm just getting, uh, as you were uh, showing it around, I'm, I'm learning it myself. I heard about it, but I didn't do extensive research. But it's really nice to see that you even have an app as well available on, uh, on uh, App Store and Google Play as well. <laughs> Actually, is, not uh, yet. It will be released within one or two Oh, weeks. sorry, sorry. Coming um, soon. Sorry, so my bad. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit they too late in London. By the App Stores at the moment. <laughs> mm. So we are waiting for the approval and then you will, of course, be able to download them. But th these are kind of things we need uh, if we want Hex and uh, all the uh, Richard Hart ecosystem uh, to succeed. Because uh, imagine that there are other other chains, you know, like we have to be somehow uh, either stand out of the crowd, uh, make it appealing uh, or the newcomers like uh, on new onboarders that, you know, to be as seamless and easy as possible. Otherwise, uh, as you were saying, uh, Max, that, you know, people attention span is much shorter these days. And then if you try to tell someone, yeah, this is a great product because of this, this and this, and then they, okay, so just show me what, and then, you know, you, you get into the nitty nit details and they're like, oh, what about this? But oh, I don't get that one. So, but yeah, this is a really clear, uh, easy to understand uh, visualization. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I'm just glad somebody built it for hex. Like hex is the old boring thing. Pulse chains here. Nobody likes hex anymore. It's not going to go up as much. Yeah. I'm glad people are still talking about working on building stuff to make hex, you know, the premier product and stuff. I, I love seeing stuff that that. Thank you. Well, first of all, we still love hex, and um, <clears throat> I still think that hex is Richard Hart's most important coin, um, as it was if, uh, as it was his first one. And he literally built pulse for hexagons so we can transact cheaply. Um, so I definitely don't think that hex is the old thing and no one is interested in it anymore. It's definitely Richard Hart's baby and his first baby, of course. So yeah, hex is still it's my baby. Will probably never go away. I love it, man. Love it. Yeah, did you, you want to go through uh you said another part to explore? Sure. Um if you click on the hex garden in the top left corner, you will get to the market page again. And that's pretty much one of the highlights as well. It gives you a whole market over, uh, overview. If you scroll down a little, you will see a lot more info than just the price chart. So we also added the last 24 hours, whale watch. And if you scroll even deeper, you will also see an overview over the staker class, um, like how many stakers are there, the growth rates and so on. Then an overview over the pool stakes. Um, the Maximus tokens and that show you um, how cheaply they are on the market right now. So if you can get a premium, if you can actually get more hex for the same price, buying those. And last but not least, you see the gas prices, which are, um, of course, zero bucks on Pulse Chain. Pretty nice. If you click the um, Pulse logo in the top right corner, it will switch chains to eHex um, or yeah, to Ethereum. Um, so you can see different gas prices there. If you scroll up now, you will uh, get all the same information on eHex as well. So we are not exclusively building for PHEX, but uh, also for eHex. Um, yeah, that's the market page. Do you guys have any questions or want anything to say? I was going to say, I like the well watch. That's cool. I'm, I'm trying to look for stuff I haven't seen before. Uh, I know everything. Mm -hmm. just looks, you know, there's a bunch of Hex websites I've been for years. And a lot of them, you know, there's a lot of overlap. A lot of them say the same thing in different ways. But mm -hmm. having a, I'm very interested in like, like the new pieces there's, or the stuff that's like presented in a way that is, is, is new and novel and like easy to, easy to understand. Like you look at this and you have a reaction that gives you data. Like there is data from, from what I'm, what I'm seeing. So that kind of thing mm -hmm. is, is, is very cool to see. For example, well Thank watched. you. Great. <clears throat> okay, and then uh, let's move on to portfolio, if you'd like, which is the last key feature of the website for now. Um, yeah, just click the little God Whale button. It will lead you directly to the eddy of the God Whale. And there you see his portfolio. Starting with this beautiful chart at the top, um, showing you which asset he holds and his total dollar net worth. Um, yeah, it gives you a sweet little overview over what he possesses. Um, nope. Always cracks me up when I see like I see like these <laughs> just just ridiculous numbers like billions. Yeah, somebody somebody has eight billion hex. Like that just doesn't seem real. It's amazing. Uh, please click the little arrow uh, right below the eight billion. Yes. So there you can see how these um, hacks are actually like where they are. Some of them are e hacks, some of them are liquid, some of them are staked, and of course some of them are p hacks. So you can see on which chain he has uh, how many hacks. Um, gives you a nice little overview. As you can see, he's almost completely staked, and staked for a pretty long time. With his next stake ending in two in over in almost three thousand days. Uh, which is quite some time, around 10 years. Um, yeah, that's like, the what? overview. What? What am I hearing right now? This is this is great in a good way. <laughs> that's amazing, right? Mm -hmm. That's 8 billion hex off the market for almost 10 years from now. That's crazy. It is. Incredible. Yeah, I love the way it's put together because you know I, I use um, I'm looking at Godwell stuff. I use uh, Fatty Fatty .io, and mm -hmm. I mean it, it's great, but I like to see like here you're presenting the most like the most notable data. Like this is 
again, looking at it and immediately I can make conclusions from, from this, or I can have at least have a yep. reaction from it. Um, yep. which is like, you know, hundred percent stake for eight and like 10 years, that kind of stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah. If you click the little arrow again, you will see one section below his other assets. Um, yeah, that's what he holds as well. So you can see tons of pulse, tons of pulse X and only, yeah, I wouldn't call it little, but some Ethereum as well. Um, gives you a detail on that as well. So you can completely check his portfolio on both chains. And if you scroll down a little more, or let's first uh, click on the little arrow again, yeah. because uh, we have a nice balance chart below that. Shows you his hex balance, um, which of course includes buys and uh, staking, staking earnings and all that. So whenever he gets more or less hex because he buys or sells, or earns uh, interest or whatever, um, you can see it on this little chart. Yeah, that's a pretty nice feature as well, me thinks. Was that bump, was that just the uh, fork? Yeah, right. Yeah, I figured. Because we are currently on the combined portfolio. If you scroll uh, up to the top again, you will see a little button um, mm. right next to his name allowing you to select which chain, uh, either Pulse or Ethereum or both. So wow, you can that's cool. get details on these as well. And if you then scroll down a little deeper, um, you will see his transaction history, which isn't that important for now, but you can uh, see how long he staked and the details on his uh, stakes. So you see these little staking cards um, with the one in the middle, 200, 57,000 T-shares, which is just a crazy amount, uh, an amount almost anyone can only dream of. And if you click on the three little dots in the staking card, you can get even more information on these stakes. Like for example, how, how high the bonuses he got are and the performance of the stake, but also an end stake simulation. So if you ended the stake now, uh, right now he would get originally zero hex back because he stayed for so long and the penalty would eat all, uh, would eat up all hex do it yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would be a quite a payout for uh the payout yeah. would be uh, it would be crazy would be legendary yeah and one more fun feature actually if you click the second card away again these details and select the little uh, dollar hex which in the in the menu bar at the top top right corner no, no, yes, this one. Yep. You can now see how much he's earning in dollar per day, per week, per month, and per year. So he's making 17K a day at the bottom of the bear market, which is 27K, wow. Yeah, 27K if you combine his portfolios. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely incredible. That's crazy. Good to be early. Yeah, so these are the sets for his T-shares. Um, a fun thing to play around with and pretty interesting for your own portfolio. And that's pretty much uh, the portfolio page. It's really nicely put together, I must say. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. The on only thing is, um, uh, recently, um, um, I'm, I'm not sure uh, if you used, uh, for example, uh, what's that called? The new stuff come out. Power City. Have you seen the Power City website? Um, actually, I haven't yet. But I hear that they were live now. Yeah, they are live. I I'm not sure, Max, if you want to uh, bring it up after this or you want to talk about it. But I just wanted oh, to okay. show you something, guys, or compare it. Because your one is... Um, I really like it because it's... It's appealing, it's pleasing to look at, uh, great uh, fonts use, you know, the colors are in harmony, um, a mm -hmm. lot of information. And then you also, um, I, I, I had a thousand uh, pounds uh, session with uh, one of a uh, top marketing director in London. It was tremendous help for me uh, before I was trying to do my own business. And um, he was saying that it's extremely important, you know, to on your, main page as soon as you open a page it has to have a message your one is is there one stop 
hex management. It's like it says it clearly you know, in one line. Um, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not getting that one on Power City. Um, and if you think about it, and I'm not sure how much was the sacrifice for uh, Power City, but uh, as soon as you connect your wallet, it's, it's just like it's so plain and it's like so basic. If you hire anyone on Fiverr, you know, for I don't know, ten thousand dollars, they would have built like a website which is like you know all dancing and singing. You know, I mean, you see the difference between the two. Your one is colors, visually pe uh, appealing. Straight away, I get the information. Um, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, Power City is um, a big letdown that the um, the site quality is, is not there. And also, um, the, the scaling itself, you know, uh, they, they don't use the space uh, wisely. It's like so much empty space on the sides and stuff like that. So hmm. it's kind of harder to, you know, that's the last thing what you want to do when you look at a website, you know, to, to, to look for information like this. It has to be like, you know, people became so comfortable these days. Just has to be like, yeah, I click on that button. I can see portfolio, buy, stake, new support. Everything is just there, right? Straight away. Or liquid loans. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Because that's, you know, a similar concept. I mean, and see, and see the difference between Power City and liquid loans. It's like 0% zero pro zero interest free. Even on my mobile phone, while we're having StreamYard, I can see every single information clearly. What is this about? Compared to this one, it's like so basic, man. Seriously. Thank you so much for the kind words. Appreciate it. You're, you're we, put, welcome, buddy. we put two years into this to make it as good as possible. And um, that's the thing, you know, like you put the, the right you amount like of it. effort, preparation, you know, you put the right amount of effort. Uh, I, I'm not yeah. trying to, you know, uh, shit on, on, on Power City or whatever, but if you look at it, like if we want to be appealing to other market participants and, and the crowd itself, then we have to be as united as possible and we have to be as professional as possible. You know, like totally you've been working agree. on something for two years. It's like it shows your dedication and here is the result. You know, like you're going to be, I think you should reach out for uh, Christian man as well. You should have some sort of sessions between the two of you um, and, you know, give some feedback, help each other out, maybe collaborate in the future. I think it would be uh, really useful for you. If he's Yeah, great suggestion. You. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are trying to aim for the same thing, you know, so, uh, and this is how we become successful we have to be united we have to help each other you know even if it's just like a consultancy or you know just a reach out conversation you know i have a half an hour i can squeeze you know whatever you know let's let's work something out let's do something uh, that's sure. gonna be the key for us if it's not then we're just gonna be a slowly progressing kind of chain and then you know this is the last thing what we want because we need yeah. uh, new people totally agree 100 percent. yeah right all yeah, right I think yeah, I was just going to say, I think uh, all the products launching, hopefully, uh, you know, I'm going to do a stream on on what if uh, what if the sack money were, uh, you know, the billions of dollars and stuff that uh, that was sacrificed. What if it was used to do something interesting around promotion or, or you know, working on infrastructure otherwise and how to how to do all that stuff. And it, you reminded me of that and uh, just how, yeah, the, it's, you know, we have no expectations of where anything goes, but uh, and a lot of these products just launched. We don't know what they're going to look like in next month or six months or something, but uh, you know, we can only hope that when people come to Pulse Chain, they see our products and like these people know what's up. Like I like to use them; they're easy to use. I want to come back. I want to tell more people about it. This is where I want to put my money because it looks nice, it feels nice, and hopefully, the price uh, goes to the freaking moon as well. That's what I hope. So we got time. We got time for it. Totally. It's just the first impression, you know. When when we release something, mm -hmm. it has to be impeccable. You know, it has to be like the the hit itself. You know. It, it has to come through like really nice because yeah yeah i mean i hear you pulse x pulse x was not impeccable uh for the first couple months but i care more about what <laughs> pulse x looks like in 2024 than 2023 so there's that no I, i'm sure. sure richard has acquired a few things in his sleeves with the uh, pulse x he, he, he just left it on purpose as a a boring thing you know to to see how the reaction how people are using it and then just slowly, uh, bit by bit, giving these extra functionalities uh, to to keep the ball rolling. Yep, I, I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, beautiful site, Hex Scout. Um, yeah, very cool. Like, Thank you so much. You guys want to? Do you guys? We'll, have... we'll wrap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, puppy, how's it going? Do you guys have any <laughs> questions regarding the site? As I can see, I need to play around a with it a little can bit we, more. Myself, can we can we uh, can we connect our wallet as well? 
I'm sorry, so yeah, let sure. me put him yeah, down because he's got some breathing problems. Your, your own portfolio. It's actually to manage your own portfolio and stakes and wallet as well. So mm -hmm. as soon as you connect a wallet, you can manage your stakes, manage your portfolio, buy um, tokens, buy hacks, and of course do literally anything that's uh, possible. Um, yeah, we build all functionalities, functionalities into Hex Scout. So you literally don't need any other websites for Hex anymore. Uh, I'm so glad um, to hear that because many of my... right there. Mm, I'm so glad to hear that because many of my friends they uh missing the um you know the the, the hex.com website was so easy to look at you know when your stake was finishing you know how much you were earning they they yeah. all uh, they all saying like oh I'm missing that so much I said guys you know we have to kind of uh, cope with it for the moment but then then here you go uh, guys like you come up and uh, you got a solution right now it's yeah, all yeah, there yeah. so all built into the yeah we'll tell them for sure. I will tell them for sure. All right, gentlemen. Perfect. Uh, yeah, Thank we'll you. talk with the. Uh, yeah, of course, man. Of course, Felix. What do you What do you want to take us out on? Where can people find more about? I mean, hexscout.com, of course. But um, Twitter, course. you guys got. You well, want making YouTube videos. Any, anything else? Um, we are super active on Twitter, and I invite all of you to check out hexscout.com for yourself. Play around and uh, find about found find out about all functionalities and. Um, yeah, I wish you fun and appreciate you for having me on. Thank you. And um, yeah, wish you guys all the best. Appreciate Felix, your hard work. What, Felix, and, uh, uh, what's, your, what's your Twitter um, thingy? It's at Hexgold. Super simple. F Hex Gold. What? Sorry? At Hexgold. Exactly like the oh. domain. Oh, okay, okay. At Okay. Yep. Perfect. Hand me the key. Thank you. Max. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. You. Of course. Norbert, uh, what do you want to take us out on? Get the last word. Uh, the last word would be just uh, as I mentioned earlier. You know, we everything is is hard. Uh, my message to everyone out there, uh, my fellow uh, investors in the Richard Hart ecosystem, stay strong. Stay strong, guys. I know that it's hard to see that all these other tokens uh, doing all the X's while your portfolio is kind of like mini up and downs, you know, on a day day to day basis. Our time will come, uh, we will shine. Uh, but my other message for the rest of the um, um, group, let's say the so community, the society, the Richard Art uh, ecosystem is that do more of these what we're doing right now these shows when we when we uh exchanging uh, valuable information giving feedback to each other encouraging each other you know not everyone is extrovert when you was introvert you know it's, it's, it's good to good to push or uh, encourage each other to build but uh from now on anyone is trying to release something guys please if it takes one more year then take one more year if it takes another ten thousand dollars to make a better website then you have enough money put that extra ten thousand dollars on that bloody website and make it look like it's the best thing ever since sliced bread because if you give me like power city i'm sorry what is the message here what is the power on this website i don't see any power or i don't see any city you know like it has to be something like a either the background or you know some sort of connection when it hubs then i can see the power city and then let's say the core if i click on it then i'm gonna do the stake if i click on the other one it's gonna do something else but this be 1995 my keyboard. yeah whatever you know but this 1995 looking website power city and then you know it's like it's not gonna do much uh, to our system to be honest with you we need more people on board and we to do that, we either need to generate green candles, we need to show how strong uh, and uh, tight community we are, and then what kind of possibilities we can offer. You know, that's the only way to to get new people. You know, generating basic websites is not going to do anything. You know, and it has to be easy and seamless, not loading for like minutes. The other day, I was sitting here for like ten minutes, literally, just to uh, to claim the tokens, and it was just like loading, loading. Imagine if I bring someone on, and then he wants to invest five hundred thousand dollars, and I sit down, sit down with him, and ten minutes later, we're still looking at the screen, which is like loading. It's not acceptable, you know. 
Yeah, uh, well, I, I mean, that one sounds like it's probably gas. Like I always do, like aggressive on the gas to make sure stuff. No, 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 no. It was uh, the the the. It's not that because it was hundred and seventy six. The uh the beat, you know, it was extremely low. Mm -hmm. The the network was not busy at all. You know, we we seen like three million beat, you know, and stuff like that, and two million beat. So this was like hundred and seventy six thousand, mm -hmm. which is like the lowest I've seen so far. So it wasn't that. Yeah. It wasn't the yeah. system. But anyway. Yeah. I think they Just got time. They got time, but uh, mm. no, I think I think feedback's. I think talking about the stuff. Uh, you know, I think teams want feedback. They want to know if people like their stuff, or they want constructive criticism of, hey, it's it's it could be better in some way. So hopefully, uh, you know, all the teams are looking for that and they're engaging and they're listening to people and making products that people want to use. So uh, yeah, nothing wrong with constructive criticism. But it's better to do it beforehand. You know, like uh, we have so many of these smart uh, mastermind. Uh, uh, I'm with the guys with Frank and, you know, like um, Access Alive, Sloth, you know, we all all there and we all talk about good stuff. Come and reach out to us, you know, like, oh, hey, guys, I want to do this. What do you think before I release it or whatever, you know, doesn't need to be um, anyway. Bullish on 2024. We'll yeah, see. yeah. New year is here, so let's yeah. let's make it a better one. Bullish on the community products, pulsechain.com, everyone. Uh, that's all we got for you today. Uh, again, thanks, uh, thanks Felix, thanks Norbert for uh, hopping on. Shout out to Stake Wealth, he was on earlier, and uh, Sci Vibe and Five 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 Five. We are out. Thank you, Max. Thank you. All the best, guys, and congratulations. <laughs>